Now in our previous session we have seen how to fetch the data from the cart, how to display that data, how many items I am having inside the cart, that many items I should display here. And also we have seen how to update the quantity and display the subtotal. Now here I am having capsicum, the total price of capsicum is 100 and subtotal is 100. Now if I just give the quantity as 3, it is going to multiply with this 100 and I should be getting the result as 300. I will just click on update cart. Now you can see the subtotal is been changed but the price of capsicum is 100 rupees. Okay, now we are going to work on this remove, removing the items from the cart. Now when I check on this and when I click on this remove button, this item should be deleted from the cart as well as from the database tables. Okay, now inside the demo if I just show you, I will just click on this remove item. As soon as I click on this, you can see cart is empty and I don't have any items inside that. Now I will just click on continue shopping add to cart I'll come to cart page now I can remove two items as well okay multiple items I can remove you can see cart is empty now we are going to work on this removing item from the cart now inside this cart.php we have already created this two input fields okay we have created one input field for updating the cart and one we have created the button for removing the items from the cart now what I am going to do is instead of button I'll just create input field here I will copy this and below this button I am just going to paste that input field. Now type will be submit and instead of this name I am just going to give here remove cut. Remove cut. And here I will just change this one instead of update I will just write here remove. Okay rest everything will remain same. I will save this. Now I will refresh this one. Now you can see here I am having remove cut. Now whenever I check on this and when I click on this button only then this item should be deleted from the database. Now here we are having this type is equal to checkbox. First we have to access this value and also I showed you we can delete multiple items. So here I am just going to write name and inside this I will just write here remove item and here I will be writing square brackets. Okay arrays we have already seen. To store multiple items we have used array in the same way to delete multiple items we are going to use array. Now here whenever we are passing this name we are just passing this square brackets. Now here if I just check on this let me just come here. Now when I check on this I should be accessing this particular id from the database. So here whenever I check on this I am just going to display that id. Okay as of now I am just going to access that. So for that I will be writing here value inside this I will be writing the php script. I will just write here php, I will close this one, here I will be writing echo, I just want to get the product id, okay this we have already fetched here, let me just come on top, while displaying the cart items we have already fetched the product id from the cart details table, I am just fetching that one, whenever I check on this check button I should be getting this value, okay whatever id I am having for that item I should be getting that one, now once I get this I will come here. Now if I refresh this one you can see I don't have anything but when I check on this this particular value will be accessed and when I click on this remove button this entire row will be deleted from here. Okay this is how we are going to do type will be checkbox name we have given remove item and inside that I have just passed the square brackets because we are going to remove multiple items as well. Then below that we are having update cart and remove cart. Okay, updation we have already done for quantities. Now here we are having this remove cart button. Now here I am having this closing form. Below this closing form I will be writing one function to remove items. Function to remove item. Below this first I am going to write this PHP syntax. And inside this I am just going to create the function. I will just write here function. I will give the function name as remove data or remove cart anything remove cart item. Inside this first I am just going to make the connection variable as global. I will just write here global and connection variable. Next I am just going to check if this button is clicked that is remove cart only then I have to delete this item. Okay this particular item I have to delete. I will just copy this one and below this below this global. I will check for that if is set dollar post and inside this I am just going to paste that remove cart. Now whenever I click on this button only then I have to delete this particular item. Now which item I have to remove whichever item is checked I have to remove that one 
and for each and every item we are having some id okay now we are going to access id and here we have used arrays so to access that one you can either use for loop or for each loop as of now i'm just going to write here for each loop for each and inside this first i'm just going to pass the product id now inside this i'm just going to access this item okay whatever value we are having here i'll just copy this one and here i'm going to paste that inside this i'll be pasting that one so before that i just have to write here dollar post and here i'll be accessing that remove item now here whenever we are passing this remove item i i don't have to pass the square brackets because each and every time it is going to run i'll just write here as here i'll be creating another variable remove id what i have done here is i'll just come here i'll just add some items i'll come to cart now whenever i check on this this particular record okay whatever id i am having for this record that will be stored again when i check on this this particular record will be stored so each and every time i am just running this loop okay unless and until i have the check marks it is going to run it is going to access the id from here and that id will be stored as remove id after that i am just going to echo that one okay each and every time i should be getting the id number of the product so whatever id i am having here first time second time i'm just going to display that now once i get the product id now i can easily delete the items so for that i'm just going to write here delete query inside this i'll be writing delete star from i have to delete the data from the cart so i'll be writing the table name cart details delete star from cart okay you don't have to write star delete from cart details okay we can directly delete okay this is the wrong way of writing we just have to write delete from cart details now i am just passing the condition where product id okay this is the column name product id is equal to this particular id i'll copy this one and here i'm going to paste if this id is getting matched with this one then i should delete the item from the cart and we have written this delete query delete from table where our product id is equal to remove id now once i have this query now i'm just going to execute this query i'll just write here run delete okay whatever variable name you want you can give i'll be writing here my sql i query and this is going to take two parameters first is our connection variable and second whatever query whatever variable we have created here i'm just going to pass that one now below this i'm just going to check for the condition if my query is executed successfully then i should be redirected to index.php file now here i'll be writing that one i'll just write here echo inside this i'll be writing here script tag i'll just close the script tag here i'm just going to write window dot open and i should be redirected to index dot php file okay not index dot php file i should be redirected to cart dot php file and in the same tab i have to open so here i'm just going to write self okay if you want to open in another tab then you can write blank target okay whatever you want you can write i have written this function now i'll come here now i'll refresh this when i check this one and click on remove cart it is not going to work because i have not called this function yet now below this function i'm just going to call that one basically i have to print that here i'll just create one variable i'll just write here remove remove item inside this i'm just going to pass this function i'll copy this one and here i'm going to paste i'll save this i'll refresh this one now when i check on this remove item you can see the item is been removed from the cart and also here i'm having this product title product image but i should not be getting this instead of that i should be getting the cart is empty that we are going to see in next session now if i just show you the output now when i click on remove item you can see now the cart is empty again i'll come to home page i can add the items from here okay later on we are going to see but i can add the items here add to cart okay again add to cart okay cart i can remove multiple items as well remove cart you can see all the items has been removed from the cart okay i have just created this function inside this i have written all this query wherever we are having this check box i have passed this name okay for this i have just given this square brackets then I, and also inside this value i have just passed the product id using this product id we are going to delete the items from the cart 
and also for this remove button I have just added this name value I have added and type is equal to submit. Now inside this function I am just checking that if my button is clicked I am accessing the product ID using this for each loop and I am just printing that ID. Once I get this ID I am deleting that product ID from the card details table. After that I have just executed this query I have checked for that condition if you want you can give the alert as well okay this item is deleted from the card okay like that if you want you can give. Now here we have displayed this images okay this images folder I have created I have pasted some images inside that folder but inside this when when we inserted the products inside the database then we stored the images inside this product images folder. So I have to pass this path to get the data from the database. Now I am getting the result because the same image name is present inside this images folder also. Now what I am going to do I will come to functions.php from here I am just going to copy this path I will copy this one and inside this I am just going to paste okay the exact part I am just going to paste I will save this I will refresh this one I will come to home page I will add items okay cart you can see now this item this image is fetched from the database now previously whatever data I was having that I was getting from this images folder and these images are already present so I was getting the output without any error but we should display the data whatever is available inside the database that data we have to display here. So here I have just pasted the proper path okay this was the change we have to do and we have just created the function to remove the items from the cart. Okay, now we are done with this next we are going to see how to display that cart is empty or not.